press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Camouflage can be the difference between a soldier getting shot and going home. So a lot's riding on the next generation design to outfit troops. It's only been eight years since the Army spent $5 billion on camel that critics say didn't fool anyone. Soldiers complained to the point the Army abandoned its one-size-fits-all universal pattern. So they were looking for camouflage that they could use everywhere. Correct. And it, it didn't work anywhere. Guy Kramer is one of the designers competing to win the Army's next multi-million dollar contract. This summer, he showed us the science behind every shape, size, and shade of these pixels. You now have your camouflage. So we're trying to trick the brain into seeing things that aren't actually there. Digital patterns recreate shapes already found in nature, and 3D layering creates depth and shadows where none exist. That's today's design, but developers already have one eye on tomorrow. What's coming up down the road and very quickly is the Harry Potter cloak. What is it? With that fictional cloak, Harry isn't just camouflaged, he's invisible. My body's gone. How invisible are we talking here? If I walked into a room with a soldier wearing one of these cloaks? You wouldn't see him at all. Uh, he would be completely invisible to you. This isn't make-believe. The military has seen the so-called quantum stealth technology. It works by bending the light around an object, even concealing most of a person's shadow. Imagine what that could do for a sniper hiding in a field, or the American pilots who ejected over Libya when their fighter jets crashed last year. They could actually pull out, uh, very similar to what they carry with a survival blanket, throw it over top of them, and unless you walked right into them, you wouldn't know that they were there. So what was once firmly in the world of make-believe could quickly become quite real. The science is in the special fabric, so you don't need a power source or some instruction manual to make it work. Theoretically, any soldier, even in the most remote location, could quickly put it on and get it working.